Hello and welcome to the first in a series of videos that will guide you through using our My Emailer email marketing software. So first of all if you haven't already done so you need to register for the product and get a username and password with which to log in. Uh, once you've done that you can log into the software and you then arrive at the dashboard screen and the dashboard gives you an overview of how the software works. So first of all you create a template and add it to my templates. Secondly you create a list and add it to my lists and then thirdly in my mailings you choose the template and choose the list of people that you want to send it to and send it and it really is that simple. Um, these other options down here, my reports, my plugins and control panel are advanced features that we'll come to later in the series. So first of all we're going to look at my templates in this video. So what we do is select my templates and uh, this then gives you an overview of templates that you've already created and as you can see I've already created a few here you can look at the details and edit these templates by clicking details or you can delete them by clicking delete we're not going to do that we're going to add a new template so let's give the template a name of test and then we're presented with four options now most people using the software for the first time will want to choose one from the library and that's what we're going to do but the other options are to start from scratch to import an HTML file that you might have had made for you perhaps by one of our designers or produced in a software uh, package like Dreamweaver yourself. Uh, the third option is uh, another template which essentially is another template that you've already created and added to my templates and you might perhaps just want to take that and then change a few aspects of it and then send it to a different list of people. So we're doing none of the above, we're picking one from the library so I'll click next and then we're presented with the template library. So we can then choose a category and I'm going to just choose a basic two column left layout and then I'm going to pick a color because my company is blue and then we'll choose something that represents our, our company so in this example we're going to be a winter sports company so we can just check to see if the template matches our requirements and uh, as you can see as the template loads up there um, it's exactly what we need for for our email campaign that we're going to do today so we'll close the template down and uh, we will click next to accept this so now we've created a template and we've inserted this template from the library into it so we now have our own template that we can begin to customize and this then brings you to the editor screen now this editor works just like Microsoft Word or any other sort of desktop publishing package. Um, so first of all you have the full screen button which does exactly what it says. It makes it full screen so if you're editing a large template it makes it easier to see. I'm going to actually bring this back down again because we don't need to see it full screen. You then have undo and redo and your normal cut, copy and paste. Um, you then format the text as normal, this changes the text colour and you can insert tables and pictures and uh, hyperlinks to your website along with a number of other features. So as you can see we've already made quite a complex table here for you and uh, all you need to do really is edit the information within the table to suit you. So I don't want our company name to be in italics so what I'm going to do is just highlight that, turn the italics off and call it my ski company and our ski company today in this example um, is going to be launching three products what I'm just going to do is change the uh, phone number to a darker blue so that it stands out more and I've decided today for simplicity that we don't need to edit this text here so our ski company then is going to have three destinations that it's marketing so we're going to have destination one destination 2 and destination 3 and you can then type a bit of text in this box just as if you would in any other package um, about the destination and then obviously we need to bring people to our website using this software so these link buttons here you can just change that text to destination 1 and once you've done that you can then highlight the text click the link button and what that does is allows you to insert a hyperlink to your website now if your website had uh, for example different sections and different pages you can link different sections to different pages by just going to that page in your web browser uh, copying the address out of the address bar and entering it here I'm going to type it in so 
www.myskicompany.com forward slash destination one and that will then take us to the relevant page on the website for destination one once I click OK you can see that, that turns into a hyperlink and you're then able to use that as a link in the email so when your recipient receives it they can click on this button and go to the relevant section of your website mission accomplished so finally you can edit this text at the bottom here um, I'm not going to I'm just going to leave it and I will save it and what saving does is it saves the work in progress of that um, you can see here that it's in the unfinalized category rather than the finalized category now finalizing it it effectively uh, says that you're happy with it and you're ready to send now what you might want to do is just preview the changes uh, that you've made to it so you can see here that we've modified the template and that we have a link here that is going to myskicompany.com slash destination one the email address is working and the phone number is visible so we've achieved what we wanted to we're happy with it once we're happy with it we can finalize it if we're not we can go back and edit it so we're going to finalize this and that then appears in our list of mailings so if I go back to templates here you can see then that our test is visible we can delete it or we can click the information button go back and we can preview it now if for example I'd finalized it and actually I wasn't happy with it we can just click add new version and that then enables us to um, edit the template again um, and tweak it so I'm gonna put uh, my new ski company in here and then I can save this and that then takes us back to the um, approval screen where we can finalize it again now you see we've got version 1 that's the original version that we made now we've got version 2 that I've edited with my new ski company so I can now finalize this and then I've got two versions there that I can send now we'll come back to this later on in the series um, but we now have uh, two versions of this test uh, in our uh, templates folder and uh, we will see you in the next video